Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 GM or Gold Master Edition on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. Unfortunately, these are the only devices that are covered right now, and also keep in mind that iOS 6 GM is specifically intended for developers, however, non-Apple developers can still restore to the firmware. I'm not going to go over that in this video, I'm just going to go over the jailbreak for it. Also, it's important to note that this is still a tethered jailbreak, and it does not install Cydia. Now the reason why it doesn't install Cydia this time around is because it's still incompatible with iOS 6 and the dev team still has to work out a couple of bugs and hopefully once iOS 6 is officially released to the public on the 19th of September, a new version of Red Snow will be released by the iPhone dev team to incorporate support for Cydia. So I will keep you guys completely covered on that. Just make sure you stay tuned and I'll have a video out as soon as the jailbreak is out. And all right, without any further ado, I'm just going to show you guys that my iPod touch fourth generation here is indeed on iOS 6 GM by going inside of settings general about and down below here at the bottom for the version it does say 6.0 so you do know I am on iOS 6 GM all right now to continue all you have to do is download red snow I'll have a post down below in the more info with download links to the latest version of red snow and then once you have red snow downloaded you can simply open it up by clicking on it and what we're going to do is go to extras however if you look right here down below at the bottom you will see that again red snow does verify that this is a fourth generation iPod touch on iOS 6 GM all right, so again, with that verification out of the way, simply go to the extras option, and then from there, click select IPSW, and you're going to browse for your iOS 6 GM IPSW, which is right here on my desktop. I recommend keeping it somewhere where you'll be able to easily navigate to it inside of Red Snow. And as you can see, now it says successfully identified. Once you get this message, you can go ahead and click OK, and then go back, and now we're going to click the jailbreak option and it's simply preparing the jailbreak data. Once it finishes that, again, what we need to do is have enable SSH checked because that's essentially what we get with this tutorial root access as well as the installation of SSH. So if you are familiar with SSH, you can install your own packages that way. However, when installing your own packages, it's recommended to proceed with caution because some might be incompatible with iOS 6, causing you to restore your device. All right, now what we're going to do is just click next. And right now it's telling us to both plug in and power off our device. And then once you continue after that, it's going to instruct you on how to enter DFU mode. However, we're going to enter DFU mode ahead of time. Just make sure your device is plugged in. And what you can do is hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, you can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. It will automatically bypass this screen once you've successfully entered DFU mode. And if you don't get it right the first time, you can just keep trying. All right, so as you can see, it's uploading the jailbreak data right now. And now it just gives us a little piece of information about the tethered jailbreak. And of course this is just going through the regular jailbreak process right now. All right, now it's just installing the bundles and it should reboot shortly. Don't flash, please. And all right, here we go. Now it did boot back up. So what we're going to do is actually click OK to this. 
and then just simply close out of red snow. Now we're going to have to open red snow back up because this is a tethered jailbreak and we need to run the just boot option. So open red snow, go to extras again, and browse for your iOS 6 IPSW through select IPSW. Once you've found it, click OK. You'll get a new message that says successfully identified. Again, click OK to that. And now this time, instead of going back, we're actually going to select the top option, which is just boot. All right, now we get the same message as before. It's just telling us to make sure that our device is both plugged in and powered off. Again, we can bypass this step. Just make sure your device is plugged in and you can go ahead and hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, just go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Again, if you don't get it right the first time, you can keep trying. You'll know it's right when it automatically bypasses that screen. All right, now this step does not take long at all, and now the device is just going to reboot, and this is just how long it would normally take to reboot. Of course, keep in mind that you do need to select your IPSW and run that just boot option every time you need to power your device on. And all right, here we go. The iPod Touch is back up now and it is jailbroken with SSH access. Again, just keep in mind this does not install Cydia, which is the graphical user interface for downloading and installing different third-party packages. So of course, I will have a jailbreak tutorial as soon as iOS 6 is officially released and Red Snow is updated to include support for Cydia. So don't forget to rate this video up if you liked it, leave any comments down below in the comment section and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.